Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Now, make sure to stick to the end of the problem, where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. Alright, so I have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now, I want to find the value of x. So, for my solution, I first start with 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. Now, I'm actually going to take the log on both sides. So now I have log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can actually move this exponent b to the front of the logarithm. So this is going to equal b times log a. And this property is actually so important because, as you can see, right now we have 2 to the power of x is equal to 5. And x here, this is an exponent. And it's going to be really hard to find the value of x without it being a normal term because x is actually going to be a decimal here. 2 to the power of 1, this is equal to 2 and 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 4, 2 to the power of 3, this is equal to 8. So 5 is somewhere between 4 and 8, so the value of x is going to be somewhere in between 2 to two and 3, and it's going to be a decimal. So now by using this property, I can move x to the front, and then now I can find the real value of x, the exact value, I mean. So I had log 2 to the power of x is equal to log 5, now by using this property, I can move x to the front, so now I have x times log 2 is equal to log 5. Now, if I divide both sides by log 2, these two cancel out, and I am left with x is equal to log 5 over log 2. Now, the value of log 5, this is equal to 0 0.6990. And the value of log 2, this is equal to 0 0.301. So now I have x is equal to 0 0.6990 over 0 0.301. And if I divide these two, I get x is equal to 2.32. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2, two, two plus 2 is equal to 5. So let's first start with 0 is equal to 0. This is a true statement, right? 0 is equal to 0 because any number is equal to itself. So on my left-hand side here, I'm going to rewrite 0 as 20 minus 20. And 20 minus 20 is 0. So this is right. I'm not doing anything that is illegal here. And for my right-hand side, I'm going to rewrite 0 as 25 minus 25, which is also equal to 0. So I'm not, cha I'm not going out of the rules or anything. Now, 20... This is the same thing as 4 times 5. So now I have 4 times 5 minus 4 times 5 is equal to 25. This is 5 times 5 minus 5 times 5. So again, I'm not going past the rules or anything. 20 is equal to 4 times 5, so I simply substitute in 4 times 5 for 20. And same thing with 25. 25 is equal to 5 times 5, so I simply substitute in 5 times 5 for 25. Now, this is the same thing as 4 times 5 minus 5. All I did was I factored out 4 from this because both terms were being multiplied by 4. And now this, this is the same thing as 5 times 5 minus 5. All I did was I factored out 5 from this because 
5 is being multiplied by both terms. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 5 minus 5. So then these two cancel out and these two cancel out. And now I'm left with 4 is equal to 5. Now 4, this is the same thing as 2 plus 2. So I have 2 plus 2 is equal to 5. And there it is. I just proved that 2 plus 2 equals 5. However, this is actually wrong. And somewhere in, so somewhere in solving this, I actually made a mistake that you cannot, use, you cannot do in mathematics. So as you can see here, I had 4 times 5 minus 5 is equal to 5 times 5 minus 5. Now, 5 minus 5, this is actually equal to 0. So now I have 4 times 0 is equal to 5 times 0. And what I did was I divided by 5 minus 5 on both sides. And if you guys already didn't know, dividing by 0 is not defined. Because anything divided by 0, well, as you see, 4 divided by 0, if we tried to do this, 0 times what equals 4? Well, nothing, because you can't multiply anything by 0 to get 4. 0 times anything is 0. So multiplying by, you can't, dividing anything by 0 is undefined. So when I divided both sides by 5 minus 5, I really divided both sides by 0. And now 4 times 0, so now if we do this, 4 times 0 divided by 0, this is 0 over 0 is equal to 0 over 0. And 0 divided by 0 is undefined. So this, you can't do this. So I dividing by zero is, it can lead to weird results. So I have two to the power of 24 minus one. So two to the power of 24, well 24, I can rewrite as 12 times two. So now I have two to the power of 12 times two minus one. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 12 times 2, I can rewrite it as 2 to the power of 12 to the power of 2 minus 1. Now, let's first go ahead and find the exact value of 2 to the power of 12. Well, 2 to the power of 10, we know this is 1024. And 2 to the power of 12, this is the same thing as 2 to the power of 10 plus 2. So now if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, 2 to the power of 10 plus 2, this is equal to 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 2. Now, 2 to the power of 10 times 2 to the power of 2, well, 2 to the power of 10, we know this is 1024, and 2 to the power of 2, that's 4. So I have 1,024 times 4, so if I now do this, 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 plus 1 is 9, 4 times 0 is 0, and 4 times 1 is 4. So I have 4,096. So now this is the same thing as 4,096 squared minus 1. Now 4,096 we can rewrite as 4,100 minus 4 squared minus 1. And now if I have something in the form a minus b squared, this is the same thing as a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. So in this case, a is equal to 4100 and b is equal to 4. So now I have 4100 squared minus 2 times 4100 times 4 plus 4 squared. And we can't forget the minus 1 at the end. So now this is equal to 4,100 squared minus 8 times 4,100 because 4 times 2 is 8 plus 4 squared which is 16 minus 1. Now 16 minus 1 is 15, so now I have 4,100 squared minus, well 8 times 4,100, that's going to equal 32,800 plus 16 minus 1 is 15. And now 4,100 squared, this is the same thing as 1,681,000. Now I have this minus 32,800 plus 15. 
and now 1,681,000 minus 32,800, that's going to equal 1,677,000. Sorry, I made a mistake. This is actually 16,810,000. So now it's going to equal 16,777,000. 200. Now I have this plus 15. So now if I add these two, I get 16,777,215. So this is my answer.